A Vietnam veteran collapsed in the cafeteria of the VA hospital during a heart attack. He died after waiting nearly 15 minutes for an ambulance to take him to the ER. The VA says that's its policy, but we wanted to know if that was the case at other New Mexico hospitals. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Kristen Swanson is live near Presbyterian with the answers. Doug and Shelley, federal law, pro, uh, excuse me, requires hospital staff at Presbyterian, like Presbyterian here in Albuquerque, to immediately help someone the minute they go down. But transporting the patient afterward, that's where it gets complicated. The minute you step into a hospital, staff are required by law to help you if something happens. You could collapse from a heart attack or pass out from a fall. Any situation where you need immediate medical attention, you'll get it. That's because of the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Acts, or EMTALA. The federal law required anyone needing emergency medical treatment be stabilized and treated by medical staff that witnessed what happened. But where it happens is important, too. The law doesn't cover areas that are not equipped to provide help in an emergency medical situation. Every hospital details what areas fall into that zone where they couldn't help. It's also up to individual hospitals to decide what procedures staff follow when a person needs emergency attention. That includes what doctors can help with and how the patient can be taken to another area to get more help. Staff with the University of New Mexico Hospital and Presbyterian Hospital in Albuquerque say all the moving parts make it complicated to pinpoint what resources are available in an emergency situation. Now that federal law covers emergency doctors and staff, it was originally put in place so that doctors wouldn't refuse treatment to someone who couldn't afford to pay for it. Reporting live in Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Deputy said a man was pushed to the ground before being hit by a car today. The Bernalillo County 